Mr. Sark, I wanted a word before you get traded. Dear God. Can't possibly be you. Don't start this conversation by acting surprised that I'm alive. Sydney, you know how highly I regard your abilities as an operative, but even I didn't think you were capable of cheating death once your remains had been identified. Which begs the question, if it wasn't your body they removed from the ashes, whose was it? I read the transcripts of your confessions, including the fact that you and a woman named Alison Doran killed my friend, Francie. If you've read my transcript, you know how cooperative I've been. I'll be glad to pay you the same courtesy if you simply tell me what you're getting at. That explosion in my apartment was a cover-up to make the CIA believe I was dead. What I believe is that Sloan abducted me. I think you know why, but you failed to mention that in your confession. If I'm to understand what you're saying, you have no idea where you've been for the last two years. None. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to laugh, I'm just... I'm not speechless. Look, Sidney, if Sloane had intended to abduct you, I wasn't privy to it. What if I said I still don't believe you? I'd say it'd make no difference. In 24 hours, I'll be free, and you'll remain in the dark. See you in Mexico.